All right, music fans, uh, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about uh, real music and more medical issues uh, with regards to classic rock folks. In this case, it's actually the daughter of a very famous classic rocker. And uh, first thing we ought to do is pray uh, for uh, this woman who apparently has an emergency. So let me get to the headlines here. So Leonard Skinner has canceled more concerts due to singer Johnny Van Zant's sudden emergency illness. Now, it's not him, though. That's what it says in the headline. So they probably should rework that, although the main headline does say it's Johnny Van Zant's daughter who is battling a sudden emergency illness. Now, I've been seeing this for three years, and I point this out, and people tell me that I'm a crazy conspiracy theorist, but uh, if you spend any time on X, and there's a website or a, I'm sorry, it's like a an account, uh, which is uh, Sudden and Unexpected, I think is the name of the account, and those words have become synonymous with what's been going on. In fact, if you Google that term, sudden and unexpected, I mean, it pulls up. It's weird because Google doesn't really censor that. They, It's like, well, it's after the fact. We really don't care now. What they like to censor is when someone comes along, like the Florida Surgeon General. The Florida Surgeon General right now is saying, don't take this stuff. Okay, and obviously he's at odds with the CDC. Now, first thing I need to say about all of this before I continue to go down this rabbit trail tangent is that we don't know what's causing this woman's problems. We have no idea. All we know is the headline reads, Sudden Emergency Illness. So on Tuesday, the legendary Southern Rock Group announced it was scrapping its show scheduled for that night in Anchorage, Alaska. Wow, these guys really get around. The band cited a medical emergency as the reason, and adding that uh, Van Zant had learned his daughter was undergoing emergency surgery. So talk about sudden and uh, serious. Leonard Skinner announced that it was calling off four additional shows, explaining that Van Zant's daughter had a sudden emergency illness, and that he had left the tour to be with her while they continued testing, diagnosis, and treatment. And that's it. That's pretty much everything. So one thing is clear is that this terminology has become very mainstream over the past three years. And the other thing that is fairly clear is that nobody seems to want to be transparent about what's going on. Now, if this has nothing to do with the super safe and effective product that was uh, put out there three years ago, if this has nothing to do with that, then say whatever it is, and then we can just move on and, and not do mindless speculation. Because the critics of my point of view on this often say, well, he offers an evidence-free take and he really doesn't know what he's talking about. And the majority of people who did this are fine. Okay, so the majority of car seats don't fail either. But if one car seat fails, guess what? They recall all of the car seats. How many times? And that's a regulatory body that does that, right? I mean, it's it's um, essentially... They're trying to protect little kids from being thrown from a vehicle. All right. And so if one of these things causes one person to have a problem, then guess what you do? You you stop. You recall all of it and you discontinue it. That would be the safe thing to do in a normal society. But normal disappeared in 2020 and 2021. It disappeared. So when I read a headline like this, you know, the spidey senses uh, pretty much just get into high gear. And first of all, uh, you would think Johnny Van Zant 
probably didn't do this, you know, to his own body. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he may have had a conversation with his daughter, but you don't know this. You know, she may have watched the news and freaked out like a lot of people did and said, oh, I want to go to my job. I don't want to lose my job. I don't want to lose my ability to do certain things. Uh, if you're out on tour, you didn't want to lose your ability to go out on tour and play concerts. If you were a concert goer, you didn't want to lose your ability to go to concerts. So for those of you who think this isn't a big deal and that I'm, you know, just barking up the wrong tree or making something out of nothing, um, Google the terms, the term sudden emergency illness or suddenly and unexpectedly. That's the big one. If you type that in, you're going to get a lot of hits unless your browser or your search engine uh, has been deprogrammed to some degree. So, you know, Johnny Van Zant, uh, a good guy. Uh, sometimes I question the legitimacy of a band with zero original members, and I have stated that a few times here. Um, I'm going to just give them permission to keep going <laughs> if they if they really want to. Southern rock is a little different because it's... It's like a culture in addition to just great music. It, these people have a bond and a camaraderie that most of us don't understand. And, um, you know, the South, uh, a lot of people have put the South down in recent years, but there are a lot of good people that live down South and they take pride in themselves and uh, where they live and the style of music that they create. And this is quite a legacy that this band has. So, you know, Good luck to them. I, I hope they continue and uh, make a lot of people happy. As far as uh, Johnny Van Zandt's daughter, like I said at the beginning, first thing and best thing you can do is pray for this woman. Uh, she's having emergency surgery. We don't know what that entails, but emergency surgery sounds very serious. And um, as a parent uh, who has a daughter and who has other children, all of whom are men or boys. Um, it, it's this is just difficult to fathom. Like it's hard to think that um, your son or daughter has to go through emergency surgery, and you know you're healthy or whatever, and you don't have to face anything. So best thing to do is pray and uh, reach out to the band, reach out to Johnny Van Zant, and send him your prayers. Uh, as a side note. Johnny and his brother Donnie, uh, otherwise known as just Van Zant, they have a new song out and a new album out there. But the new song is called Jesus Christ, where it's just as blunt as you can be. Talk about doing Christian music. Uh, I have posted that for patrons to listen to. It's a fantastic song. Um, it's definitely country or southern rock sounding. Uh, it's a little bit maybe too spicy for Christian radio because it's it's so direct, but um, that's what I love about it. And their new album, too, is a Christian-based album, so um, everybody needs a little bit of strength during times like these, and it's good to know that we all have Jesus. So there you have it. Pray for the Van Zants, and um, thanks for watching.